Hey, what's up, guys? So uh, we have a client which uh, started to use ClickFunnels recently, and I thought it would be uh, interesting to, to, to share with you how you can uh, integrate ClickFunnels with Flexi, like how you can send leads from uh, your landing pages into Flexi using webhooks. I'm new to this thing, so I'm not sure uh, how it everything works here. But let's try to add uh, to add a new funnel. Collect emails. Okay, let's choose this uh, this option here. Collect emails. Let's name it uh, demo. Flexi, no group, building the funnel, okay here we go, so this should be the, uh, the builder I guess, okay I, I think we should choose a template here okay let's go with the first one so it should be pretty easy okay I suppose this is the link of the landing page the public URL let's go here so we can check it out okay a normal landing page so I guess the form should be uh, on click to this button yeah okay so this is from the caching of my browser okay so it should be some option on the settings over here so you can specify if you want to attach this uh, landing page with a specific domain and the path and then you can configure the SMTP settings and all of the other stuff so what we want to do now is to to, uh, to add our uh, webhook so it has the Zapier integrations and here we go so we are uh, interested on this guy over here let's manage the webhooks Okay, add a new webhook. Okay, so this is the explanation, the technical explanation of click panels, webhooks, how they works. So we won't mess with this part. So uh, all you all you gonna need is this URL here, right? So and also you can specify the event. Uh, basically telling to the click funnels on which event uh, they're gonna send back to you the uh, the payload of, of the lead and let's pick the uh, contact created and on your flexi you have to create a new workflow on the uh, virtual entity over here because as you might know the virtual entity deals with uh, not not structured data as you don't know upfront how the structure of the data is and from here click funnels we have to go with a listener and then we're gonna pick the uh, dynamic endpoint. The dynamic endpoint is for you the uh, webhook URL you have to paste over here. So basically, ClickFunnels is going to post the data into this URL, right? For this event, I, I chose. And let's create the funnel webhook. Okay, cool. 
also let uh, let not choose anything here so we keep this as is connect the dots close the builder publish save and close that's it so now we have a landing page and a webhook which is going to be sent the payload capturing your leads data uh, into your flexi uh, CRM so now let's let's give it a try so here's the landing page I'm going to open the form and give it a name demo flexi and the best email could be best at email.com hit the button and that's it you just created a contact from this landing page into your click funnels which in itself gonna send uh, the payload to your flexi account let's check it out what we got here now okay so you have to edit the dynamic endpoint and you're gonna see the uh, the last entries which are uh, being sent to, to your endpoint right now there is nothing let's wait because I, I guess it's not a real time I'm not sure it said delivery is zero but let's let's refresh this oh I see one now so they uh, they have one delivery let's open this again okay we got it so the payload information is over here you see demo flexi I'm not sure how they come up with this because it was just the name and the email there and I don't know how in the world the first name could be this and the last name could be this I'm not sure how they they approach this kind of thing but anyway so this is your data coming from the uh, from the click funnels the email and everything else so I, I guess all these fields are are the standard fields in the click funnel so they they send everything to you in the webhook and here it, it's the event you see and from here you can do an entity insert and you can insert into a lead or a contact or whatever you want based uh, on your scenario and for example if you want to insert the uh, the lead and you're gonna pick the first name which you can do from this little button here which will open the uh, the tools you can capture the uh, the data you just sent to, to Flexi variables you see the first name and also the last name and also the email right so these are the uh, the basics you can do and it gonna insert the the lead but you have to be aware that if your uh, email field in Flexi it's a unique field and the lead gonna sign up twice or more than twice it will fail so it will ensure you that you won't have uh, data duplication so it's it's a good thing for you you won't get like the same lead over and over again so in cases the uh, the lead gonna get duplicated and failed subsequently it gonna be ended up here so you can connect whatever you want here maybe an update maybe you you want to update like whatever field you are sending from from click funnels but basically this is the uh, 
the uh, the integration you can do it's it's pretty easy it's it's like one minute job you can just add the uh, the webhook and by the way uh, it's the option you can add multiple webhooks it depends by by your case anyway maybe you you're gonna just use click funnels for uh, I don't know for for leads capturing and that's it you just need the lead and everything else uh, will be taken care from your uh, from your sales team or you can just capture from here direct sales as you see before the events here you also have the purchase created so you can capture uh, the lead also the the uh, the purchase detail of, of whatever you are selling in the click funnels and you have everything here All right okay guys hope this helps see you in the next videos